this is so bright. Um, I hope the mic can pick this up. Of course, uh, as soon as Dennis starts playing, the mic goes, Wah! and then it has to come back up when I'm talking, which of course, which is of course, who wants that? We're in the, let's say, phenomenal amp room at a Musik Produktiv. That's with a K and a K. Right. That's. The German word. That's KK, not a third K. We're not adding the third K, it's just a double K. Anyway, we're in this amazing room, and there's two more rooms right here. Um, and uh, later we're gonna do a separate video where we're gonna go into the guitar gallery, mm -hmm. which is, that's where the porn is, okay? Uh, clothed porn. And in here, I'm staring at Friedmans and Bogners, and then there's Morgan. more Friedmans and Bogners. Morgan, no, today. Get it? Get, get it, Morgan? <laughs> and there's uh, my, my buddy Phil's amp, which I've never had the pleasure of playing. And there's um, Ampete over there, which I heard is pretty neat. I get it, Ampete's pretty neat. That should be a slogan, costs you money. Don't use that. No, I don't. Okay. Um, and what else do we have? See, I'm blown away. It's like paradise. <laughs> and we have like Nader, Engel, Houston, Kettner, Friedman, um, Randall Victory, the Morgan Orange Laney. You would never be able to test all of this. Honestly, you day. can. You can. You can. Okay. Uh, How do cool. Okay. What is this? Is this like the cool thing? Is everything? <laughs> no. Don't, nope. don't do that. That that costs money. <laughs> <laughs> That's extra. Okay. That's extra. Well, I'm going to get undressed here. Actually, we uh, have everything connected okay. to one switching system. You, all you got to do is. Plug in your guitar to this little thing, which is the, mm, mm, let's say, remote of the brain of everything. You're plugging in there. Right. Okay. Um, and all you got to do is type in the number of the amp you want to wanna, wanna <laughs> apply. Let's say uh, the frequent small box is number nine. Ah, it's on the cables, okay. Right. Uh, it's number nine. And let's say we want to use cabinet four. Type in four. Are you shitting me? No, that's connected now. You can, um, <laughs> let's say you want to try it with a different cabinet. Uh, over there was the angle, it's number 45. Now it's... So now you can actually A, B them. Also do that with um, amplifiers. So let's say what else? But where do we find the numbers on the on the um, cables? Yeah, ah. on this row it's on the number on the on the shelves. It's uh, on, on the, the shelf of the cabinet. Yeah. Uh, let's say on our. Let's try the. What amplifier. kind of mad scientist comes up with shit like that? It's uh, a, sm a small company in Germany. We we um, uh, and uh, designed this. Took a few years. MP and along. 17 million dollars! No, not actually not. Um, anyway, Holy let's try another, another amp. Uh, that's now the amp. Uh, you can also AB uh, now the amp with the free. Way to ever compare amps I've ever yeah. seen ever ever. So ever. Your, your videos are so long. Normally, um, you you take like forty minutes for one amplifier, yep. right? Um, I could do, here, you could, you I could, could do all of these in forty minutes. Yeah, right now we have um, it's it's <laughs> our switching system over there. Yeah. Each, each one. Uh, Wait, let me show. Let me show that. Let me show that. Each of them are Crazy. capable of eight hats and eight cabinets, and they are like uh, yeah daisy chained. We have nine of them, so right now it's 72 heads and around 40 something cabinets you can choose. Okay, yeah. that is completely ridiculously awesome. And for all the country guys, they have 65 amps. Yeah, rock and roll! Not country! That is, yeah. uh, where are all the switch tips, by the way? Do you guys take them off? Yes. Because, because people are assholes? People are... No, Stop uh, being assholes! No, my, my customers aren't assholes. Okay. But, um, let's put it that way. Their friends are assholes. 
Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> the people that bring in here that don't buy uh, we, things. We keep, we keep them in the case so everything okay. is uh, complete when the chip is. That system is amazing. And actually, we, uh, because, uh, as I said, uh, it's 72 heads, and um, um, uh, normally it would like take a hum and all mm -hmm. that stuff. It took, the longest time we spent on the design was uh, getting it hum-free and uh, with like no switching noise and uh, no signal loss. So the buffers in the in inside is uh, amazing. And um, you, you would still have to put the amps under load when they're yeah. not on. That's, that's the reason that, okay, put, put it that way. Um, let's choose a cabinet which uh, isn't in here, mm -hmm. like number 90. Mm -hmm. Number 90, cabinet, it says no connected. Okay. So uh, it won't do the switching unless there's a cabinet connected. And uh, in the time, um, by the time you press enter, um, it actually measures what is connected. So not this, not even the connection itself mm -hmm. um, is the the the, uh, the thing. Um, it it measured what is uh, connected actually. If it uh, is a cabinet or someone, I don't know. Uh, used the wrong Change jack something or whatever, uh, this system will not. So it's safe for the amps? It's safe for everything. It puts a load on, on each, each amplifier and will test wow. the connection before like, engaging. So, so the only thing that really changes if you wanted to change, if, if, if compare caps, is your position in the room. Right. So other than that, it's a perfect way to compare right. everything. Actually, this, this is like um, to get a first um, first overview, yeah, like mm -hmm. um, most people don't know, um, even though in this, uh, uh, they're using the same kind of vintage 30, um, the cabinet itself does so much to the sound. Um, Trust uh, me, Peter Stapfer from Dietzel has told me more than I ever wanted to know about how a cab influences the sound. So you know. We have conversations about that. Yeah. So, um, because of the, you said the position in the room, um, we have some, some spots here where you actually can bring your own am, uh, amplifier or your own cabinet and compare. Uh, so and you don't, you know, this is so easy and you can't do anything wrong. You don't even uh, have to ask if you want to try it. Just turn it on, press in the number. That's and I, I just saw, I'm going to have to interrupt, for you crazy Germans who've been watching my videos lately and I always go, it's the Dietzel Paul, it's the Dietzel Paul, it's the Dietzel Paul, and you guys ask where can you buy the Dietzel Paul. It's right over there. You, yeah. can, you can actually check it out here and buy it here and then be happy for the rest of your life. But then, no, 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 come back a month later and buy a Friedman. And then make Reinhold happy and, you know, buy a Bogner because... The Look at section. how many Bogners. I mean, really, who needs one amp? Nobody. Everyone needs at least... At least, what? 30? A lot. <laughs> we all need a... It's fun. Yeah. It's fun to have that shit, right? right? And it's, uh, it's fun to have the, a real amp, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old school guy, I you know, respect all the camper sh stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't, okay, but <laughs> you, you can absolutely respect you know, it. Uh, respect for like the technology, but I'm I have, definitely okay. not into it. Yes, I, have, I, I actually wrote that on the camper uh, Facebook page, I said I have the highest respect for someone who can design and build this, because holy shit, yeah. That is a piece of technology that is mind-blowing. I have to say that. It really is. Yeah. And I, I, I can understand why people are using that, especially like flying musicians and all that yeah. stuff. You know, Moritz has talked about in, um, in life, but, you know. It, on, on the way here, Moritz talked about the BIOS software. Mm -hmm. BIOS fix. Yeah. And uh, he says it sounds really good. It's got all these, pli all these uh, presets. And I say, well, that you're sitting, still sitting on a computer playing with software. I would guarantee you if through the same speakers I'll plug in any of these amps, you'd go like, Ah, of course. Know? I mean, it's good for touring music. No, what I'm trying to say. No, what I'm trying to say is you have no freaking idea what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Most people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Most, pe most people didn't even experience um, uh, uh, like what what it's uh, like if you are in a rehearsal room um, with blasting loud amplifiers going yeah. on with like. The, Me, the, the hum and pee in, in your I've, ears uh, after you know. I've recorded what? album with, with James Lebrie from Dream Theater. I've recorded album with Sebastian Bach from that skip, uh, that, that idiot from that band, and other people, and with all pods. Mm -hmm. Because for years, for me, it was about the notes and the arranging, mm -hmm. but I wasn't aware of the sound, and that was the easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. And whenever I actually, I, I had a Fender hot rod. Um, an F hot rod, and I uh, put a mic in front of it, I couldn't really capture that sound, and I didn't get what tone was, 
and I didn't get this whole thing. So for me, it was the part. If I listen to these albums, it's horrible now, mm -hmm. and it was really a chance wasted to produce these albums in really great, which I now could go back and you know redo them if I wanted to. But some one day my Pod XT broke, the AD converter broke, and I had to get my Fender out, and all of a sudden I was like, ah. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. It took me years. years to understand why this stuff, a piece of wood with some metal in it, is, is where it's at. And I've, I come from the digital world. Of course, not the digital world of today. Mm. Digital world of today is Kemper, is Bias, is Axe Effects. It's on a different level. But personally, I've discovered this world of amps and I don't want to go back. I did a review for the Helix, which is a good product for mm. the price. You unbox it and it's amazing, the brushed aluminum, the interface, the clarity of the display, the possibilities of connecting it, mm -hmm. the, the looping, the switching, they thought about everything. It's a very, very clever box. And I started playing it and I was blown away. But the longer I played it, the more it sounded to me like a pod. Yeah, actually with the Helix, um, you gotta have, gotta get some Really good IR. And uh, everyone products, said that. Yeah. Said, but the, my question is, if everyone says you got to get some really good impulse responses, why don't they put them in there? Why don't they deliver it with the really good ones? Why deliver a half-assed product? It, but I mean, I did a demo for it. I think it's a great product for many people. And frankly, with all the effects and the speaker simulation and the board and everything, it clocks in as much as some people pay for the board power supply and looper without any pedals or amp. Mm -hmm. So. It, you can't get everything in the box and have everything perfect. But it's it's as, impossible. As, as I want to say, is, uh, we experience that every day. People come in here um, and maybe actually explore like an analog tube amplifier and like a volume the first time in their life. You know? Yeah. They they know all the, the all the amps from their computer or from their yeah. camper or whatever and play that here and it's a totally different beast. I actually have experienced Chinese developers. Not from the company you're thinking about, it's a different company I'm talking about. Um, uh, they developed a Leslie pedal. And I was Skyping with the guy who programmed it, who did the code. And I said, so what's your reference? And I'm thinking he's been in front of a Leslie, or he's had a really good simulation pedal, or he's you know, listened to a couple of albums of you know, B3 players. No, he played around in guitar rig. Okay. Guitar rig was his reference yeah. Yeah. to build a Leslie simulation pedal. And I'm like, no. no you can't. It's, it's like you're looking at the copy of a copy of a copy yeah. and you're making a copy of that. It's not going to work. So you got to go to the roots. You got to go to actually, you got to, that's what the guys from Strymon do. When, they, when they, they did the legs, I'm pretty sure they actually were sitting in front of a Leslie cab analyzing the that's shit out of that thing. Yeah. That's why Pete Shelley from Strymon is God. He really is, um, because he knows the shit and he knows the sounds. So this room for you to explore amps, I gotta say, is pretty freaking yeah, then If you want to spend some time here, no problem. If we start, no, we're not no, gonna leave. We okay. have, see, you, you hired us to come here and film things and talk to the panel people and all this stuff. If we start, <laughs> no, we, we, we're gonna have to come back without cameras and um, get some coffee and some chicks and then spend some time in here. Yeah. Maybe not the chips. Spend, spend at least a week in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go and uh, look at some Nido guitars now in the guitar gallery. But that's a different video that you're going to have to click on. I would say the link's below, but I'm probably lying because I'm too lazy to do that. So find it on my channel. Uh, Dan Shark from Musique Produtive with two Ks. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.